what's more to that story is something we're very familiar with. And the HUD secretary but spoke about it. Isn't, but discrimination isn't always that obvious. Sometimes more subtle, but in many ways more insidious. I know. And institutionalized discrimination that's hidden behind a smiling face. That's what I'm talking about. what he's got to say today. But discrimination isn't always that obvious. Sometimes more subtle, but in many ways more insidious. I know. And institutionalized discrimination that's hidden behind a smiling face. That's what I'm talking about. more to that story is something we're very familiar with. And the HUD secretary but spoke about it. And no one has fought these guys, which is the Bloomberg administration, New York City Housing Authority, and Adult Protective Services, and HRA, but me with my money, 
my mama's money, and my love for freaking justice for you people. Hey, it's Saturday night, October 16th. You getting ready to go to work now, huh? I'm on my way, yeah. You had a good rest? Somewhat. You enjoyed your day with me today? I loved it. Your ass worked hard. You know, it was a very productive day. Outstanding. Philip was very appreciative and shit and all that. But since I'm not sure when I'm going to get a chance again, I've never had a chance to do this. Do you remember the last time we met with Ida Smith at Congressman Meeks' office, the special assistant? Of course. What was the most significant part about that, which was about two and a half years ago one last summer? Because right now we're in, we're in October. Well, the, pretty much the bottom line was that she went over the paperwork, the preponderance of the evidence dictated that there was a form of redlining that was being conducted by NYCHIS. That's New York City Housing Authority. That's New York City Housing Authority, yes. Conducting a form of redlining. Pretty much. And we had, and she said those exact words, NYCHIS is conducting a form of redlining, right? Yes that or is, no? That is correct, yes. And now my problem is they refuse to put it on paper, they refuse to take it out to Jamaica Field Office, it's being contained and it's hurt me. I'm going to have to do what I'm going to have to do with these guys, man. I don't think it's her fault at all. I don't think Ida has anything to do with any of the containment or any of that. Of course not. But that office is crooked. <laughs> They're withholding evidence. They're withholding evidence. Yeah. All right, brother. So I guess we're going to go hit the everything, huh? Pretty much. All right, man. I, I think, happy. yeah, man. So, you happy for me? What's that? This has been going on for years, man, this woman, and I didn't want to come and ask her for nothing or honor. She's been coming to the library handing me money. Okay, Doc. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Good All right, up. partner. Good Thanks, up. man. Good night. All right. All right, partner. Bye-bye. It's 8 o'clock at night. I'm at Highland Care, nursing home. I came to say goodbye to Mrs. Green because by the time they figure out how and did all this videotaping, uh, people being neglected, warehoused in here. I'll never be let back, back in here. But if you die before I do, tell God not to forgive Congressman Meeks, not to forgive New York State Senator Huntley, not to forgive New York State Senator Malcolm Smith. Vivian Cook has cancer. She's going to die real soon, five, three, four, five years, whatever it is. She, shouldn't li she should live very long so she can suffer a long time.
New York City, uh, 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 New York City Councilman Leroy Comer. He runs her for an abomination. This is Sunday night, 8 o'clock at night, and these are the people. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. And she's right there. That's Mrs. Green. Hooked up to a machine. Being fed. These liquid supplements. And this is the warehousing of these old people. For $140,000 a year. I can't. Mrs. Green. The reason why my life got destroyed was because I saved your life and protected you about the $20,848,000 left by Hosea Mitchell, who lives in apartment 10K at Shelton House, New York City Housing Authority. Somebody help me out here, man. My life's been destroyed, everything. You hear these people yelling in here? This is the woman that was thought to be dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's right here. <laughs> She's right here at Highland Care, and that's her roommate, okay? She is not dead. Mrs. Green did not die. I've been coming here for years. I kept a secret. I knew all this. I told everybody where she was, but they covered it up. The district attorney's office, Piedmont Psychiatric, Human Resource Administration, Adult Protective Services. Everybody covered this up. And the district attorney knows because I, I charmed Bianca into giving her the thing to go to my website and the DA calling me want me to come in there so they can arrest me and abuse me. Not going to happen. They come and get me, they can come and get me. But you better have a search warrant, you better have an arrest warrant. That's all I know. This is the victim of a Nazi copycat crime that Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg covered up. What can I tell you? This is what they look like when they're in a nursing home, dying. And they're just an economy being warehoused because they put them out of their house in public housing so they can harvest the apartments and they dump them in a nursing home. And when they go to the hospital visiting nurse service, social workers get money when they refer them to certain nursing homes. Go ahead. He can vomit and choke on his own puke. He vomits, he chokes, and dies on his own puke. That's what I'm talking about. He vomits and chokes on his own puke. When's that going to happen? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what I expose in order to get people to do their damn job. That's what I expose in order to get people to do their damn job. I'll never see these people again in life because I am the housing worker. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you guys to the judge. This is Mr. Gary DeLeonardo. Guess what? These guys got the slaw firm. He's got two partners. These guys don't know how to lose. This is the gentleman who was appointed guardian of my mother that has known me for more than 10 years, that knew me when I was director of the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce, and he knows that Philip Dreis is an actual little phenom. I don't like to brag about myself, but Judge, I need a report. Uh, if to your recollection, what did I do to the New York City Housing Authority and Byron Medigakis at that trial? <laughs> you, you ran him around the circle. <laughs> Did I whoop them up? Circled around. Did I beat them up good? All right. And you also did meet my cousin, um, the nephew of the president. I came over here with my brother signed yeah, the power of attorney, yeah. giving me all rights to do whatever I want with the deeds to the sugar plantation and the properties in Haiti. Yes or no? I remember meeting your cousin. All right. <laughs> okay. So that's right. it. I go. I go. I go. You heard it. I, I that's me with the judge. I'm, I'm okay.